Dear friend, I wish you are here to taste the combination of the ice cream and the pancake. It's really delicious. I like the color of the pancake, the vanilla flavor, the moistness of it, and the smoothness of it. It tastes really good. I don't have to talk too much. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to Chef Gabby DA channel. Today, we are going to learn how to make pancake at home. It is going to be simple and delicious, yet very educative. Come, let's do it together. Yalla! Dear friends, let's get started. We are going to have two bowls, one for dry items and one for wet items. items. We have one cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, half. All right, friends. The reason for the flour is to give body or structure to our pancake. And the reason for the sugar is for the sweetness, moistness, and browning of our pancake. And the reason for the salt is to bring all the flavors of all the ingredients together. The reason for the baking powder is to introduce air into our pancake so that our pancake will not be heavy. It will be light. All right, friends. Now the dry ingredients are ready. Let's go on with the wet ingredients. I have one cup of milk. This is full fat milk. The higher the content of the fat of the milk, the tastier your pancake will be. And I will add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. The vanilla essence is to give us a nice flavor and aroma. And the reason of the egg is to add richness to our pancake. At the same time, it will help to bind or emulsify all the ingredients together. It also helps with the browning of the pancake. <laughs> And I just added two tablespoons of butter. The butter is for richness, flavor, and moistness of our pancake. Now both our dry and wet ingredients are ready. So first, we will mix this one very well. And then we will make a well our dry ingredients. Okay. And then we whisk the wet ingredients together. Very good. Add the wet into the dry ingredients. And then mix together nicely. But you have to be a little careful. You don't have to mix it too much. Maximum two minutes is enough. Even if you have small lumps inside, it's okay. Because if you whisk it too much or over whisk it, you activate the gluten in the flour and it will make the pancake chewy. Then now, it's okay like this. So let's get our pan and spatula ready and start frying our pancakes. I will put the stove on medium. The pan is hot now. A little butter inside. This is non-stick. So you don't have to put too much fat inside. I have my V-shape ladder. You just pour it at one place for it to spread by itself. All right, so we wait for it to bubble. So when some of the bubble starts to burst, then we turn it. And one thing you have to also know is that the first part of the pancake will be very brown. But the top, if you turn it, the top can never be brown as the first part. Because when you put it inside the pan, you see, it was just spreading by itself. So the under will be very smooth. So every part of the pancake is cooking now. But when the bubble starts to come, you see the up, the top will be rough. 
So when we turn it, not every part of the pancake will touch the pan. That is why the second part or the second side of your pancake can never be brown like the first part. Okay, now you can see the bubbles are coming now and some have started bursting. So you can see it's hard now. So at this stage, let me turn and see. You can see nicely golden brown. But I'll wait for about 20 seconds more before I turn it. All right, so I can turn it now. You can see very beautiful. It's soft and frothy and the color is just wow. But as I said, the second part can never be nice like this one because you can see all these parts have the same color. Very beautiful. And this pan, this granite coated pan, is a new stuff in the kitchen. I bought it around $15. I really love this. Now, the vanilla flavor is amazing. So as I said, you see how rough this side is. And let me show you the first part. This is the first part. So you see how all these parts have the same color. This part have the same color. But the second part is very rough. You can see it is uneven. Look at this side. Look at this side. Look at this side. This side. This side. Because of the bubbles. So any pancake you make, the second part can never be nice, smooth, brownish like the first part. Man. I love it. The smell is amazing. I like the color. I like the shape. And let me emphasize on how to get a nice shape. You have the shape is very nice. So when you are pouring pancake in the pan, you don't have to spread the spoon like this. Just pour it on one place for it to spread by itself. And with that, you will get equal size of the pancake you are making. All right, friends. It's approximately five minutes in total and the pancake is ready. All right, friends, I will continue with the next batches, but I want to say that when you are making pancake, I see lots of people always stack the pancake like this. This is not the right thing to always do. So the heat condensation will be taking place. And at the end of the day, when you finish, you will see that the once the down the pancake will be wet and you don't want your pancake to be wet like that so always make sure when you first make your pancake separate it like this so that air can blow over it and it will be nice so that you don't get your pancake too much wet dear friend the pancake is ready and i'm going to serve with our homemade chocolate and mint ice cream and if you haven't watched it this looks sexy i will leave the link of the ice cream video under the video description so you can watch it after you are done with this one dear friend i wish you are here to taste the combination of the ice cream and the pancake it's really delicious i like the color of the pancake the vanilla flavor, the moistness of it, and the smoothness of it. It tastes really good. I don't have to talk too much because you can see the shape, the color for the flavor. I'm the one who can smell it and I'm the only one who can taste it. But please, you do try it at home and I know you are definitely going to like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you for watching. God bless you and God bless us all. I do. <laughs>